Hello, I'm Carol Bua, and these are your City of Vancouver news headlines. The City of Vancouver has a vast array of development projects going on at any given time, ranging from new corporate headquarters to the waterfront revitalization to the development of multifamily housing projects. This week, we chatted with Chad Eichen, the City's Community and Economic Development Director, to hear about just a few of the major development projects underway in Vancouver. There's a lot happening in Vancouver, projects all over the city. Most visible is probably the waterfront. Uh, right now, there are four blocks that are under construction. We have two restaurant buildings. We have a block that's going to be for offices and apartments and then another one that's just strictly apartments with retail down below. And another key project is Home Depot is building their quote center corporate headquarters at the Quad Industrial Site, and that's just east of Fred Meyer at uh, Grand Central. Uh, that is going to open up uh, about a 20-acre site for future development, and we anticipate about 3,000 new jobs once that's completed. Riverview Gateway is another uh, really cool project. It's a former gravel mine, uh, gravel quarry out at uh, 192nd and SR14. Uh, that's going to be a large mixed-use project. Um, right now they're working the site and the first commercial projects and hotel will be going up there very soon. Learn more about current economic development projects in Vancouver on the city's website. On March 12th, the city's community development team updated City Council on current housing market conditions in our area, progress made on the Affordable Housing Task Force recommendations, and ideas for future affordable housing initiatives. Currently, there are 4,300 new apartment units in the development pipeline in Vancouver, including 455 income-restricted affordable housing units. In 2015, Vancouver was among the first cities in our region to adopt a law prohibiting landlords from denying an application for rent based on a renter's source of income. You can watch the full council workshop on the CVTV website. The City of Vancouver's street funding strategy was launched in 2016 to address deteriorating pavement conditions and improve our city's street system. 2017 marked the first full year of funding and work, which continues to ramp up today. Vancouver is committed to accountability and reporting back to the community each year on what's been done. You can view the 2017 report on the city's website. The report shows all city street funding strategy revenues, including vehicle license fees and expenses for the year 2017, and gives a brief look ahead at programs being funded throughout 2018. Last fall, a community survey was administered to households throughout the city. This survey, completed by 577 households, asked residents about their perceptions of safety, what services are most important to them, how the city is doing in those service areas, and what residents like best about living here. The number one reason people love living in Vancouver? Social offerings. And considering our growing restaurant, brewery, and coffee shop scene, as well as a jam-packed summer event schedule, we're not surprised. Check out the full result of the community surveys on the city's website. Help shape the future of your Vancouver Parks as a member of the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee. This 10-member volunteer citizens group advises Vancouver City Council and city staff on needs, plans, and programs for parks, open space, playgrounds, facilities, and recreation services for the residents of Vancouver. The deadline for applications for the two vacant committee positions is April 4th by 5 p.m. More information can be found on the city's website. Thank you for joining us for the March 13th edition of City 5. For more information on any of the stories we cover today, please visit cityofvancouver.us slash city5.